Okay, what's going on guys? We're going to go with the 4 2 3 one, but maybe it's on my end probably a mistake that I made yesterday is I should have had to get a bit of, sorry, better clarification should I say rather on why I don't use the 4 2 3 one anymore. First of all, it's the best formation or one of the best formations inside the game. It always will be. You can go to any FIFA, 18, 17, 19, 20, 23. It's always going to be top three formations no matter what. Uh, because the reason why is you have two CDMs, okay? Always you're going to have two CDMs for stability. And then you've got the central camp. Now, the way that I play is I play like in a 4 4 1 1. So my 4 2 3 1s are actually 4 4 1 1s because the camp and the strike is on stay forward. Um, so people ask me, why did I remove it in yesterday's video? Um, maybe I should have made this more clear. What I meant to say is if you are like rank 3 and above, um, rank 3 and below, you should always use 4 2 3 1 in your slots, in my opinion. But rank 3 and above, if you're just that regular kind of player, of course, 4 2 3 1 is still going to be very, very effective to close out the game but I'm just not using it as much. You know, I'd rather go into a game and start on a 4-2-4 or 4-3-2-1. Now, you have to understand, I don't play this game for fun, okay? You guys, you have to remember this. My job is to test the game. That means when you guys when you guys play the game, you have fun, you enjoy it. When you don't want to play anymore, you stop. I can't. I have to do this 20 hours a day. So I don't want to play the same formation again and again and again. And the 4 2 3 one, we know how bad. You've seen my video. I was one of the first guys up there along with Deception. We were the first guys out there to say what's wrong with the game. And there's so many problems inside the game. And one of the biggest issues is finishing. Probably the biggest issue right now, bigger than 71 depth. If I get a 1v1 on my striker, I'm not going to score at all. But if I play on a 4 3 2 1 and I get a stupid cutback, I just run down the wing and I take a shot towards goal. I'm going to score. So that is why I'd rather start the game on a 3-5-2. Now, in my opinion, the 3-5-2, okay, on the counter-attacks, you may be susceptible to a counter-attack, but it's such a fun formation to play as opposed to the 4 2 3 one You only have one striker. Yes, it's a very good formation to use, but you have to play very slow. You've got to play very calm. So a lot of the time, I'll be honest, I don't really want to play the 4 2 Unless I'm testing a formation out this year, I don't want to play. Because we know going down the middle, and you know this yourself, going down the middle, it's useless. Because if, if I, even if I do get past some ridiculous fire back, right, and I get the ball with my striker, I can do a green time shot and miss. There's no guarantee I'll even score the goal. So that is why I'm using the 4 2 3 one less and less and less. So the way I use this formation now is I use it to close the game out. So that's why next week, I'm gonna move this from this slot. I know people are not gonna watch the video, they're not, not gonna listen to the video, I don't even care to be honest. But that's why it's gonna go from that slot. Now, why I'm saying to you is, look, when I'm winning, let's say 2-0, okay? Let's say, because this account I don't even use. By the way, I have like 10 different accounts, yeah? I gotta test things out. This is just like a content account or testing gameplay or formation or getting clips for my for Patreon video, something like that. So what I would do basically is I would go, let's say to, um, let's say I'm winning 2 no, let's say I wanted to win the game hypothetically, right? I will then switch to, so let's say I'm using a 4-3-2-1, right? What I'll do is I'll pause the game and let's say I'm up against a good player that I feel like I can't defend against them and they're really trying to take me down. Then I'll switch to a 4-2-3-1 in game and then literally I'll just put everyone on comeback and defense. Literally like this like this, and then it's like cut back, stay back, left back, right back, stay back. That's all I'll do. And literally I'll keep it like this. Maybe I may put balance or slow build up play. If it's slow build up play on a really like top tier, I talk like a, like a pro level guy, like someone that's pressing me into the ground, then I may use slow build up play. But that is the way that I'm using the 4 2 2 Now that's just me, okay? That's, let me make this important. That's, that's why my weekly tactics update every single week is for me, okay? But I try to give you the best options as well. I try to mix it up and give variety. If I wanted to, I could long out these weekly tactics videos and give you absolute garbage and come out with the best one in March. But that's why I gave you the best one a month ago. And that's why a week ago I didn't upload, didn't upload an update because there was no update to it. So that's the reason why I'm using the 4 2 3 one. So that's what I'm saying to you. If you're like rank 3 and below, and what I mean by it isn't rank 3 naturally playing, like not tryharding, just calmly playing, then of course use the 4 2 3 one. It's probably one of the best formations in the game. It's very stable. Defensively, you can get the job done. You have two CDMs and you have that cam. If you put that cam on come back in defense, it really packs out the middle. When you're attacking, you have the same thing. But the downside is you only have one striker. Even with my 4 4 1 1 setup where I got the cam on stay forward, it's not the same. You have to really work it really, really slow. And that is why even you may struggle using the 4 2 3 one to attack. Maybe not to defend. But that's why a lot of you guys, you probably didn't realize this, but I've been looking at other people's gameplay, I've been, you, or different accounts, different divisions, I've been seeing what's going on, and that's how I know 
that a lot of you guys are doing the same thing. A lot of you guys are changing more to two strike formations and one strike formations if you can't score or if you struggle to score against a, we, a team that's like very, very defensive. That's the right thing to do because truthfully speaking, on the top tier end, this is actually a, a quite a difficult formation to attack with sometimes because the issue is with this formation is with, when you have one striker, you have to really rely on these L1 triggers, okay? So L1 triggers like that. And that is why on tactics, I recommend the long ball, okay? Because long ball basically means getting behind, effectively. So when you win the ball back, these cams, they don't have instructions to get in behind. You see like a strike, it has the option to get in behind. These cams don't. So what long ball basically just telling these players to get in behind? That is basically it. What I'm probably doing now more and more is I'm going to send probably a centre mid going forward. Um, but again, if I release that formation, um, I always trigger the, the centre mid myself, okay? Like if I'm try hard, let's say I'm try harding inside a game, I'd always send the centre mid myself forward with the L1 button. That's the way that I would do it. Now, if you struggle with that, you can always leave the form, you can always leave that CDM unbalanced. But that's why I have them both on stay back. That's the way that I play it. Because I triggered these players manually myself. If you know you don't trigger them manually, then you have to be careful. If you put them both on balanced, it could be very, very good. Like for example, I like to use them both on balance sometimes. It actually makes a big, big difference. But the truth is, if you use that, you need to know when to use your CDM and when to run back. The truth is this year everyone is getting exposed defensively is because no one knows when to run back with a CDM and when what they're doing is just basically been over attacking and they're relying on a counter that we're using on 71 depth and as I said I'm playing at 71 depth half the time I might as well just go to a 424 this is probably one you know this this 4321 and there's this formation now I don't personally play cutbacks but I've been recording a lot of cutback content because I did a video on my Patreon series how to score cutbacks in theory so I was doing a lot of testing out this in fact this entire week this foot champs um, I didn't really play it. Um, all I went spent running down the wing and cutting back. That's why I did the entire foot chaps on this account because all I all I had to do was just test that. So a lot of the time um, I find myself using more of these other formations. And as I said, because I play this game all day, I don't want to play the same thing again and again and again. That's why I like to experiment. So that is why I don't use the four two three one. Should you use it? Yeah, of course. It's one of the best formations in the game. You can copy these tactics. They are very, very good. You can increase the depth. If you don't want to be passive, let's say you want to use a higher depth on this formation. There's a reason why I say adapt it to your play style. It's so hard because you see when a pro makes a tactic, most average players cannot use a pro play the tactic. They cannot because everything would be on balance, very neutral. They apply pressure themselves. They use team that contain themselves. They use uh, team press themselves. So if I give you 71 depth on a 4 2 and I say, hey, everyone, use 71 depth on this 4-2-3-1 to close out the game. Can you imagine how much stick I'm going to get for telling everyone to do it? That's why I say, look, start on 39. This is a passive defensive depth. If you go to about 45, that is when the team start cutting the passing lanes and going forward. And then 71 depth is the count they're very, very attacking. But this is why I say to everyone, watch the videos. Don't just copy and paste the tactics. I know, I know people do it. I know 50% of people that watch the video if you watch this video probably right now, you probably want one of those guys because you or girls because you're watching this video. Um, but everyone just seems to just copy and that and that's it. They want to adjust it to their playstyle. You have to adjust it. You know, maybe like two years as a year before, I did weekly tactics. I didn't I told you just copy it as it is. Guys, that was last year. You should be now if you've been watching my series since last year, you should be now adjust the tactics for your own gameplay. To be honest, the tactics I give will get you 90% there, okay? That's the truth. It'll get you 90% there. But that 10%, it depends on your play style. So, for example, if I gave you, as I said, the 4 2 3 one with, with, with one player on stay back while attacking and one player on balanced. If you watch this, let's say you're a ranked 4 player and you know you struggle with counterattacks, you should identify you struggle with counterattacks and put the player on stay back. The idea is adjusting it for your play style. That's what I want you to do, guys. That's why I spend so long explaining it. I, I explain every week the reasons why I change things out. If I'm using my 4 2 3 one, in case you're wondering, I just realized nine minutes in, I still haven't talked about what I'm using. It's the same system that I've given you all the time. Only thing that maybe that I'll do is I put one of the center mids on balanced. The left back and right back, I might put them on um um so I don't leave, really leave the left back and right back balanced. Um, even on this formation, when you use the cutbacks, it's not the same as a two striker formation. With a two striker formation, um, the cutbacks are a bit more easier because you're gonna have two strikers up against two center backs. It's a bit easier to score a cutback as opposed to a four two three one. But yeah, that's why I don't use this formation as much. Um, it's I just don't use it as much anymore. Maybe to use literally close the game out, but that is only really where I'm using the formation. Uh, a lot of the time I'm experimenting with other formations, trying things out. A lot of the time I'm testing gameplay out. This year it's been a lot of testing on my end. Um, we it's the game hasn't changed. The base mechanics have not changed, but it's just the way how jockeying is you know I, I it's my job to figure out 
when does run and jockey really affect the player and when does the transition affect the player that's what my job is so I'm spending a lot of time, for example, testing out different centre backs. Like I know Virgil van Dijk, Kunde, the two best centre backs in the game, but I need to test out players like Cavadi or uh, Saliba, the affordable option everyone else can test to see how they perform inside the game. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, just a bit of a, a bit of a clarification on the four-two-three-one and uh, you know why why I personally don't use it. Is it a top three formation? And I said absolutely, um, but I'm just saying. I'm just not having fun playing a 4-2-3-1. And I'm sure you would be the same thing. Would you rather not lose one or two games and have fun in your weekend league than sweat all your games with a 4-2-3-1 um, just to get one more win? To be honest, what's the point? Rank 6, you get 100k pack anyway. You get good rewards for getting 6 wins, sorry. So imagine, for this, they made it so easy to get good rewards. 6 wins, you get good, good stuff. So unless you're realistically top tier player and you're going for rank one because after if you don't hit rank one and you're a top tier player it's kind of like what do, I don't care about it anymore now it's a bit different before back in the day if you don't hit rank one it's like you don't even care you know what I mean it's like imagine when it was 30 and no if you've already lost your game at 30 uh, like when it was 30 games and you was like 13 and one you don't even care anymore as long as you get like you know a minimum elite three at that point you don't even care where you finish uh, but now they made rewards exponentially better for every single rank it does make sense um, but I said, it's all about having fun. I'd rather you guys lose one or two games, enjoy the game, have fun, than just sweat it out. Sometimes it's just not worth it. Yeah, you might want to do it one week or this week, but to play that way every single game, you're not a pro player. And even if you are a pro player, find another career, because what are you going to get? Pro scene, the shambles right now. So it is what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy, and hope that clarified, clarified things up. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out.